and happy Sunday. Pumpkin getting her good morning greenies in her little jacket because it's been super cold. And yeah, start my day off with, oh dear, look at all the different coffee drinks and energy drinks. It's a problem, but we're going to go with this one right here. This is the super coffee that is keto friendly and like low sugar healthy. Anyways, this roasted garlic cheese. Holy crap. Amazing. And look at this mess. I went and got groceries. So everything's just kind of chaotic and yeah, kitchen needs cleaning, but first breakfast. <laughs> I'm having a keto bagel and some cheese and my B12 gummies. <laughs> And while I eat my breakfast, I'm going to watch some Simply Home with Sherry because uh, she just makes me feel good and I love watching her on Sundays. And yeah, decided I was going to put away groceries, which turned into let's clean out the fridge and clean the entire kitchen whole thing. Yeah, so that's what ended up happening on this Sunday. So yeah, very productive. Started out just, you know, put away groceries, ended up being let's organize the entire pantry, clean out the fridge, deep clean everything, organize drawers. It got away from me. <laughs> I kept finding projects for myself and I put on some music and just got to work. So here I am totally sorting out the pantry. Oh my God. Yeah. Cleaning up expired stuff. Just doing a lot of things I've been neglecting, really. Just little things that need organizing. I like to put my snacks in cute little containers too. Even, even organizing the medication bin and supplements, what I'm taking, what I'm not, what's expired. So I have all my dailies right there on the counter where I will see them. And uh, yeah, just lots and lots of cleaning. Oh my goodness, look at me waddling back and forth. And while I'm at it, it's time for some dishes and putting things away. Because again, a mess. Everything was just a mess. And if you see me leaning over, I'm resting my back. <laughs> my back was killing me. But yeah, loading up that good old dishwasher. Always the endless thing that is dishes and laundry. And yeah, I also decided to organize my Tupperware drawer, which was something that's been on my list to do and been mean to just sit down and kind of film it because that'd be a cute little thing to run a vlog. And today was the day. So here we are organizing that drawer and then the drawer below it. Also a nightmare drawer. This is supposed to be for my pans. What happens? It ends up being a junk drawer. <laughs> it's supposed to just have baking pans. So yeah, I'm cleaning it out and putting all plastic things in one drawer and yeah things are getting nice and tidy also finally putting some dish towels in rotation that i've been avoiding using because they're so pretty i didn't want to mess up and then okay here we are over the coffee bar this is my drawer that i keep my teas in and yeah so i had some extra little baskets out of my studio so those are now for tea and look how tidy this drawer comes out I'm so proud of it. It it makes me happy in my soul, this drawer right here. Oh my goodness. And then the drawer next to it is empty aside for some straws, what? And now the dining room. While I was at it, I decided, well, we gotta do the dining room too. There's a bunch of crap in here that needs cleaning up and here I'm going through some documents, tax time, shit. And okay, these coasters, look at these. I got these at Burke's Outlet, $5.99. $5.99! Can you believe it? How cute are these? I, I, I got them for my husband as a kind of little present. I don't know, I was being really nice to him the other day and like buying him stuff. I don't know what guy ends me because I also bought him this shirt <laughs> for St. Patty's Day. He gets very into St. Patrick's Day, so yeah. I decided he should have a new shirt to wear. And yeah, just cleaning up uh, the kitchen. And done! Snack break. Technically, it's my lunch time at this point. Oh no, she's having another energy drink. And trying out a Quest bar. I keep hearing good things. Another highlight of my Sundays is the Welsh twins. I love these two so much, individually and together. Okay, so now we're, we're testing out this Quest bar. This to me is peak 
live in the pod, eat the bugs, dystopian nightmare food. <laughs> this is awful. I hate it so much. The texture is just bad. Everything about this is just gross. Everything I've tried from this Quest brand has been just pure ass. <laughs> I hate it. I hate it all so much. Okay, so on to the planner. Uh, another thing I love to do on Sundays is sort my planner out and get my weeks planned out. And shockingly, this is me planning ahead two plus weeks <laughs> into the planner. Oh my goodness. And then nails. Okay, perfect Sunday right here. I'm also doing my nails. I love to get a nice fresh manicure on for the week, even though I actually destroy this manicure the next day. And now I took a nap. <laughs> I fell asleep on the couch in the office and it's time for dinner. And uh, Lila texted me and asked if I wanted to go grab some basil steak for dinner at Mikado. So that's what we're doing. It's a Japanese restaurant down the road from my house that has the most amazing little steak dish. It's basil steak. It's basically a steak with basil on it and it has seasonings and um, a bunch of different type of veggies and peppers. It's amazing and it's pretty healthy and they cook it so perfectly and it's cut in these little bite-sized bits. It's so tender and so amazing. So yeah, we constantly crave basil steak and again, it's a nice healthy dinner. Uh, you know, it's mostly you no know, carnivore <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that's what we're, I'm getting ready to do is go, uh, wait for my husband to come from work and then we're gonna meet her over there for dinner because oh my goodness I yeah actually was this the day me and her went to Walmart too I feel like we did anyway on the road and by the way this is the kitchen all clean I forgot to show you oh yeah and yeah me and her did go places because I went to Burke's like I said and I picked up this little statue that I'm gonna be redecorating. Uh, DIY project. Oh, um, good morning, pumpkin. This is now. It's Monday morning and she's starting out with a meat treat and I'm starting out with a, oh, no. Mm, oh, no. Look what I'm going for. Yep. An energy drink. And you know, I drank that energy drink the day before and I immediately fell asleep. So, Caffeine doesn't do a whole lot to me, but I'm constantly trying to combat the uh, side effects of my antidepressant, which is drowsiness. So here I'm taking some B12 as well and heading to the studio and showing you the mess that is the rest of the house. That's a project for another day. But today's project is dyeing my hair titanium. Well, my skunk stripe anyway. So that's what I'm working on on this day. And uh, having a nice little beauty reset because I'm tinting my brows. <laughs> First, getting out of the bath now, all fresh and clean. And uh, yep, dermal planning the face. And getting ready to film a video that is inspired by my hair. So that that's that's what my Monday was. A good productive Monday. Hey guys, okay, so today I got away from me between coloring my hair and doing makeup and yeah, getting some work done on the computer. But anyways, a lot of filming also in between throughout the day. Ugh, I forgot to fix my lipstick. Oh well. We just got back from dinner. We went and had some barbecue, which was delicious. And yeah, anyways, this is how my hair turned out. And I'm really liking this. It's so probably the best even box dye in for it's like a grayish color has gone. But yeah, I did a whole video showing how I did it and my thoughts and everything. I should brush my hair out. I got something in my hair. Oh no, I think I got baked beans in my hair. <laughs> got beans in my hair. Gosh. Brush my hair out a little bit because I just got a little tangly. But yeah, we stopped by Walgreens on the way home from eating barbecue and picked up a few things. 
I wanted to show you. I should get my hair brushed out real quick. <laughs> but anyway, yeah. Today just really let go away from me. I was gonna vlog. You can see I started out good this morning, but yesterday I was the most productive person ever. I cleaned the kitchen like crazy good. And I kind of like continued into last night doing some stuff. It was Sunday night. So it was like a really kind of a relaxing yet productive Sunday. Uh, I took a couch nap, <laughs> you know, one of those days. But um, did a little bit of laundry last night. And then today hit the ground running as far as filming and content went with it. coloring the hair, which took a little bit of time and I had to do some importing and, you know, all the things I usually have to do before I can film and yeah, it just could have got away from me. But anyway, I'm letting some of my Rebel ice cream thaw out. So I thought I would show you what I got from Walgreens real quick. Just a, a, a small Walgreens haul. Okay, this was a bit unnecessary that I didn't need this right now, but I bought it anyway. <laughs> it's a self tanning mist for like your face and decollete area. I just really wanted to try that out and see how it works. I could have waited on this, but they had a new display of all this stuff out, so I was like, let's give this a try. <laughs> I'm just really intrigued by products like this. I think Jamie Genevieve's like uses hers every day. But yeah, this could be fun just to do the upper part and tan my arms like right now because I'm not showing my legs. This is one hour express tan. But yeah, I thought this would be kind of neat to try out because my self-tanner, when I do use self-tanner, is always gone off my face in like no time. So I thought that'd be just something useful to have. Got some more lash glue. I was going to put on false lashes today and realized I had no lash glue. So got some more lash glue. This is my favorite one here. This is the strip lash, strip lash adhesive from. <laughs> I can't talk. Strip lash adhesive from Kiss, and this is the with aloe latex free. It's kind of a more gentle one. I really like this one a lot. This one I think by far has been my favorite lash glue. And I also picked up uh, this concealer. I have been meaning to try from Number Seven. This is the Triple Action Lift and Luminate Concealer. I've been meaning to pick this up for the longest time, so expect a review. <laughs> because I'm a big fan of number seven. And this is a serum concealer, which is something I like with buildable coverage, covers imperfections, blemishes, blurs, the appearance of fine lines, wrinkles, conceals age spots and pigment. So yeah. Let's see. I got it in the shade Fair, which is the lightest shade I could find. Nice component, looks good. Bronzer on the back of my hand. It's pretty huge. It smells a little weird. Oh, well, it feels nice. It's a little deeper than I would like, but yeah, we'll give it a go. It could definitely be lighter, but we'll see. And then I got the new one from number seven, new foundation. This is their Restore Renew Serum Foundation. Visibly conceals five key signs of aging. This is light to medium coverage with SPF 20. I got it in the shade Porcelain. Uh, yeah, I was really uh, intrigued by this one. It sounded like my kind of product as far as the coverage levels and you know, the light buildable, sinks into the skin, or melts into the skin, looks really just lightweight, natural, pretty. And this also has the Matrixel 3000 in it. So this is going to have some like age skincare within. So cool. I'm excited about this. Look how pretty the component is. Like this looks so luxe. I think it's about $17. It's up there. Number seven's always been a little bit pricier though. But I've enjoyed everything from number seven so far. Good little pump, pumperoo. Really nice, nice pump, nice packaging. It's kind of thin and runny-ish. It's like a pretty good shade match. Feels nice. Yeah, it has a nice uh, texture. Didn't really smell like anything. That looks pretty on my hand. Look at that. 
Oh yeah, okay. I think I'm gonna like that. It just sounds like my kind of uh, product. So yeah, we're gonna test that out. Yeah, I'm probably not gonna test this tomorrow. How am I testing tomorrow? Oh, I don't know. I'm giving a powder foundation one more go before I review it because I just wanna make sure of how I feel about it beforehand and then we'll get on to testing this out. And excited. And this concealer. Much excite. Yeah. All right. Yeah, today I did like a full face of e.l.f. just about, except for my eyes, which is ColourPop broke. Uh, long day. The broke palette on the eyes, and then I wore more milk on the lips. Now tomorrow, tomorrow's Fat Tuesday, Mardi Gras. Um, we are going to a little Mardi Gras thing at the bar that we hang out with it sometimes. And then we are going to go to see Studio 666 <laughs> with Dave Girl. <laughs> so I've got a little bit of something fun to do tomorrow. So I need to decide what makeup I want to put on for tomorrow and go ahead and get that pulled and ready to go. Um, I kind of wanted to play with Baroque palette again, but uh, it's Mardi Gras, so maybe do some green eyeshadow or purple. What are we feeling? Mm -hmm. What are we feeling? The Jeebius Place one tomorrow. I think these colors are pretty. It's not going to scream like crazy Mardi Gras, but it's going to be a pretty eyeshadow look with this. And we got that glitter in there. That'll be fun to wear. And this is definitely going to be my St. Patrick's Day <laughs> eyeshadow. Um, I did pick this up for St. Patrick's Day to wear. And I got my husband a cute shirt I showed you guys already. We do a big uh, crawfish boil and St. Patrick's Day party. So I, it's like an all day event. So I'm gonna get some new chairs for that, like um, fold up chairs to bring, cause it's just kind of an outdoor like uh, neighborhood party thing. How cute is this? That's adorable and it's comfortable. So I got that to wear for St. Patrick's Day. What else did, was I gonna show you? Oh, I got a NARS lipstick, matte lip crayon, which are like my favorite lippies from NARS. I got one in the shade Lonely Hearts. It is the most beautiful, dark, chocolatey brown. Basically looks just like sensual from Milani that I already have, but whatever. Let me just apply it real quick. I got this for like $3 fully. When I checked out, it was cheaper, and then it was on clearance, and it rang up super cheap. I got that cool um, statue, and I'm going to paint that white. So Florence and the Machine's got a new song. I'm loving it. I got it stuck in my head now. But yeah. Mm. Beautiful chocolatey burgundy. Not the best application, but mm, my kind of color. All right. Oh, uh, what else was I going to tell you? I'm sure there was something else I wanted to tell you, but uh, <laughs> it's gone from my brain now. Cool. <sighs> kind of getting sleepy already, but yeah. Oh, I got a new candle I wanted to show you. I'll show you that tomorrow. Uh, get up and go get it. and uh, We'll do it tomorrow. But yeah, uh, I think this is what we'll play with tomorrow. Do a little look together and yeah, I'm going to test out that powder foundation. See how it holds up in kind of a long day uh, just by itself. And I'm really looking forward to trying out the number seven stuff. So yeah, all right. Um, I'm going to go have my, <laughs> my nighttime ice cream snack and braid my hair, wash my hair face and head to bed so uh yeah and i will see you guys in the morning i think i'll do a little vlogging tomorrow just of anything that might be interesting i don't know which exciting things i'm going to do tomorrow or not but i'll uh of course bring you guys along if anything fun does happen i gotta take these earrings off because this one the back of it is like sharp as a needle and it is stabbing me i gotta like file it somehow like it is needle sharp 
it is it's like sharpened down to a, a point what the hell love these earrings by the way really enjoying them they're from time and true or whatever from walmart's they were two dollars okay so it's time to give my brain a break play some sims Ooh, and i'll wear these earrings tomorrow i think these two would be cool for tomorrow all right i'll see y'all And it's Mardi Gras! Just throwing my outfit on the bed there for Pumpkin to approve of. And yeah, look at this little turkey. She's ignoring me because she doesn't want out of bed. Typical. Just nope. And then I said a word she likes that starts with a G. Ends in an eeny. Greeny. Look at that face. Look at that face. That face is Gucci's. Okay. Anyway. Hey guys. Happy... Happy Mardi Gras, and good morning, <laughs> adjusting the camera as usual. I might have used a little bit of that spray tan, self tanner spray. Very intense. I did not leave it on the full 30 minutes, and look at my tan. You know my face is redder than the rest of my body, so that's why my face looks darker. Because it always turns out darker on my face, because my face is just naturally darker, but yeah. It actually did a really good job and looks really nice. I left it on about 25 minutes, rinsed it off. Um, it's one that you can leave on for like three hours to get like the deepest. And I just wanted a light little, t just to experiment. So yeah, I think it did a good job. I have a little bit of color to my skin. Looks nice. Um, anyway, today, this morning, I don't feel like filming an actual YouTube video because it's not relevant to <laughs> anything. And... It's just uh, me getting ready for Mardi Gras today and to go see a movie. So I thought, well, we'll just start the vlog and do a little get ready with me action here. And yeah, and I'll just kind of show you or do voiceover what products I'm using. And we'll just kind of whiz through. I just want to do a really purple smoky eye. Um, last night I was sitting here debating which eyeshadows to use. I'm so drowsy suddenly. Ugh. And ended up remembering the beautiful purple in the Jackie Ida palette. So we're going to use this as our main color today. And do a little bit of some smoky eye action. Just see what happens. Play. Just do something very vibrant and purple. So that is my plan. So yeah. Um, I'm just going to get into that. Ew, why am I suddenly so freaking sleepy? I hate that. Like I just have my smoothie. Trying to get my day going. And lately, around 9 o'clock, I've been getting so sleepy if I get up early. My makeup is done for the day. It is only 10, 10 a.m. I might try to sneak a little futon nap just on my back very carefully. But yeah, I wanted the skin to be super glowy. So glowy skin was the uh, agenda today. I could have bronzed. Oh my god, I'm so sleepy. Ugh, I'm like, I was nearly like dozing off doing my makeup. That's bad. Right. So yeah, I'm going to take a little quick nap on the couch in the office until Lila texts me that <laughs> she's ready to go. So I'm all ready. I'm dressed. I just, uh, yeah, we'd have to like throw shoes on. So, okay. I'll see you guys later. I'm going to take you along with me today if we get to anything fun. Otherwise, I'll see you. Jesus Christ. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Cheers. Happy Mardi Gras. Thank you.
Oh, and here is my Mardi Gras swag that I will be wearing on this day. I did not get that nap, by the way. It just didn't happen because my phone was blowing up. So, yeah. Anyway, here we are at the dive bar having some boudin and boudin king cake. Little weenies and meatballs. <laughs> and watching the band. Yeah, it's like one in the afternoon, so there's no one at the bar. It's pretty dead. Anyway, we left and went to go see the movie, so. Also, King Cake. Hello. But yeah, we went and saw Studio 666 and then met my husband for dinner. So it was a, all in all, a great day. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye now!